Hey everybody, this is Andre here covering for Kevin on the Kevin Breeze channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over some tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2021. So the first thing I wanna go over is the battery percentage. As you see right here, there's no battery percentage next to the icon unless you pull it down here. Now this might work for some people, but you might wanna actually see the percentage so you get a better idea of where the power is at. Let me show you how to get it. So you're gonna go into settings, and then you're gonna go to battery. Right here, you can toggle on and off the battery percentage. If you activate it, it will show you the percent right here on the normal screen. And if you turn it off, it'll go away too. Another cool thing you can do on this menu is see the usage details. If your battery is constantly being used up really fast and you don't know why, you can go to this screen to see which apps are using the most battery. To go along with that, we have the adaptive battery. With this feature activated, it'll limit the battery use for apps that you don't typically use a whole lot that run in the background. Basically just another nice way to optimize the battery life of the phone. Another thing you can use is the battery saver. If you're ever running low on power and can't plug your phone in at the moment, you can always turn on the battery saver and this will put the phone in a super low power mode that doesn't use as much battery to get you through until you can plug it in. Now as these phones have advanced, more and more of them have been using gesture navigation instead of the three button Android system that we're all used to. Now this is a great system and I personally really like it, but if you like the three button navigation better, you can also get that back and I'm gonna show you how. So we're gonna go into settings here, go up here and type navigation, and here it comes up. And right now we can see that we're in gesture navigation. And to get those buttons back, select three button navigation and it'll come right back. Now this is all up to personal preference. You can use three button navigation or you can use the gesture navigation, whichever one works best for you. Now, are you ever in one of those situations where you need to get your camera out really fast, whether it's your camera app or snap or whatever it might be? Well, let me show you a really convenient way to do that. You're gonna go to settings again, hit that search bar, type in gestures. And once you get to the gestures menu, you're gonna hit jump to camera. Once this is activated, all you need to do to go to your camera is double tap the power button. The first time you do this, it's gonna ask which app you want to use if you have multiple apps that use the camera. Because you might have a moment where you wanna get Snap out right away to capture something that's going on, and this is a really convenient way to do so. But once you have the app selected, all you need to do is double tap the power button, and it'll open right up. Now that's actually not the only alternative way of opening the camera that you can find in the gestures menu. The other one is quick capture. With this mode activated, all you need to do to turn on your camera is go like this. Now this is honestly my favorite way of opening the camera. You can't use this with Snapchat, but it's really nice to have and it's really fast and convenient. And really, if you have both of these features activated, you can use jump to camera to open Snapchat and quick capture to open the regular camera. And then you have two convenient ways to open the camera that use two different apps. So it's even faster and easier. Now normally, to take a screenshot with this phone, all you need to do is press and hold the power button and the volume down button. It's easy enough, but let me show you an even easier way to do it. So in the gestures menu, you're gonna hit three finger screenshot. Once you activate this, all you need to do to take a screenshot is hold three fingers a little bit apart on the screen for a second, and there we go. Even though pressing the external buttons is easy enough, this feature is a lot easier and more comfortable too. The final thing in the gestures menu that I'm gonna go over is the fast flashlight. This is a really easy, fast way to turn on your flashlight. And once it's activated, all you need to do to turn on your flashlight is go like this. And then to turn it off again, you do the same thing and it goes off. I really like this feature and even though it's just as easy to go like this, once fast flashlight is activated, I personally wouldn't use any other way. Are you ever in a situation where you don't wanna get notifications for a little while? You can really easily turn on do not disturb in the normal settings, 
but let me show you how to do it even faster. So you're going to want to go to settings again and type in flip for DND. This will come up. You're going to want to activate this feature. And then once it's active, all you need to do to turn on Do Not Disturb is put the phone face down. You're going to hear it vibrate, and once it does, Do Not Disturb mode is on, and all you need to do to turn it off is pick the phone back up again, and it'll be normal. This is especially convenient if you forget that Do Not Disturb is on, then all you need to know is that when you pick up the phone, it'll be off. In my experience, one of the most annoying things that happens when I'm using a phone is when I'm showing somebody something and the screen just suddenly falls asleep. Let me show you how to avoid that. Again, we're going to go to settings. This time, you're going to want to select display, hit advanced, and hit screen timeout. Here you can change the screen timeout time from as little as 15 seconds to as long as 30 minutes. I would suggest to play around with it and see which one works out best for you because if you have it on too short, the screen's going to fall asleep all the time and if you have it too long, then you might drain your battery unnecessarily. Now if you're ever doing something like rearranging your home screen, you can easily change these settings through the normal settings menu, but a faster way to do it is press and hold one finger on the home screen itself and this menu will come up. You can do everything from changing the general home settings of the home screen to changing the style or even the wallpaper. I think it's really convenient because then you don't have to scroll through the settings menu. All you need to do is press and hold one button and it just makes things a lot easier. And the last thing for today is going to be changing the settings of the keyboard. Everybody loves the Android keyboard, but one thing a lot of people don't like is that it doesn't have a dedicated row for the numbers. I mean, who wants to press the shift button to get a number, right? If you could do it when the number's right on the screen. Let me show you how to actually get that. All you need to do is go to settings here when you have your keyboard pulled up, hit preferences, and turn on number row. Once this is activated, your keyboard is going to have a number row and it's going to be a lot easier to type numbers. That's not the only thing you can do with this menu either. You can change simple things like glide typing, voice typing, and even autocorrect, but you can also even change the theme of the keyboard. And if these themes that it has aren't enough for you, you can always download new ones or create your own. Now I think that's really cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video on tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2021. And hopefully you learned something too. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.